Yo, 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 what's up, guys? And today I'm bringing you guys some Domination 6v6 on the map array with Scavenger, Sleight of Hand, Ninja, uh, Red Dot, FN, Bow. Now, the reason I'm running this class in a full party is because normally I, on array you run to uh, quite a few long, long range engagements. And the reasoning being is because there's lots of lines of sight and lots of openings from the B flag to C and to A. Now, I thought most of the time I'll use my M16 and uh, it's my long range. I don't really snipe that much on this map either, but um, very little do I ever snipe at all. Now, I thought I'd try a different long range weapon. I'm using the FN foul with red dot like I already said is a long range weapon it's one of the two single fire guns in this game that is uh... in case you guys are don't know what single fire is means that you can only shoot one shot at a time so the gun goes as fast as you pull the trigger so with a gun like this you have to be able to know how to use it and treat it properly and now I'm not saying treat it properly like it's a human being I'm saying treat it properly for the reasoning being is you can't really rush all that much with it. I'm sure you can, but it's not smart. For the reasoning being, uh, it's not an automatic weapon. Um, with this weapon, uh, long range engagements are usually a go. You might lose to an M16 or an M14. It is possible. Um, this gun has as much recoil as you let it have. If you just spam this trigger automatic, of course it's going to get more recoil. For the reasoning being, it's a single shot gun, and one bullet won't give you very much to little to even no recoil, um, because you can control it. So this gun has a very controllable rate of fire and uh, recoil. So you can see right here, um, the more I shot it, the more uh, recoil I ended up getting. But I don't have a problem with that. Um, you can see I'm just picking these guys off. This is a great line of sight on a raid. For, uh, I maybe, look at this guy. He gets turned on because of my ninja headset. But right here, I tried to call him my blackbird, but my chopper popped up instead. But, yeah. Um, choppers on a raid aren't bad if you're not facing nothing but ghosts, which mostly you run into on this map. It seems like certain maps, such as Grid, um, Hanoi, Array, you run Kowloon even, you run into a lot of uh, ghost users for the reasoning is that I don't quite know. I understand this map because air support, if you get air support out here, you're just done, which is no fun to go against in any way, shape, or form. So it's reasonable to run into Strellas and Ghost, although Strellas and Ghost don't always need to be applied the same, but most of the time they are. Uh, I didn't bother to speed up my chopper, I was too lazy to do it, so, sorry for that. <clears throat> so I believe this chopper gets taken down real soon, or no, actually, I get the whole chopper. Um, my SR-71 with my napalm. Um, I usually run napalm on this map for the reason of I can put it on a flag and it covers a good portion of the BDOM flag and entrances uh, to BDOM. Uh, although we didn't really have a problem facing this team, they were fairly easy to beat. But, yeah. Um, with this FM foul, it's a one to two bullet gun, so, you know, that's not really a very big problem at all. Um, so, it's like, when I mean one to two bullet gun, like a kill, you know. Sometimes you get like a three bullet, um, I, sorry, I shouldn't say one to two, but it's a two to three bullet kill. Uh, the odd three um, and the odd four. Usually it's a two shot kill. It feels like it has stopping power, although it doesn't. And you can see my blackbird didn't really help me out that much because I'm obviously shooting at a guy that's been dead for a little while, which I realize now, but uh, at the time I was determined to think someone was up there. But I'm sticking in this line of sight. I don't like to run into A that much, although I see a chopper gunner up. And I know if you're raping someone on the A Dom flag, with a chopper gunner, um, the spawns will switch. And right here, this guy just gets completely outplayed as I throw my stun down and he just 
players like that don't know what to do in situations like that. So they'll probably usually continue just running forward. In the odd time, he might run into some, a bit of trouble, which I did there. But I still outplayed him in the end. But, yeah, that goes for that. Um, <clears throat> right around now, guys, uh, this is just a complete, like, they're just getting dominated game. They didn't really have much of a chance. And right here, I probably should have taken cover before I continued to shoot, but I didn't think that guy would be able to take me out, which he didn't have the abilities to do for whatever reason. And this guy just gets dropped with a stun. Although I do get one or two stupid deaths in this game, which I could have definitely prevented, but when you're running on a full party, guys, uh, you get a lot more anxious than what you would normally. Although we do lose the B flag to a ghost guy because we were capping A, which we should have just left. But um, when you're playing on a full party, guys, you get a lot more anxious, and you have feel the need to uh, um, go run out in the open. For the reason being is that kills aren't shared as much. Sorry, they're more shared in full parties. Where if I was running solo, I wouldn't really have to worry about kills. Uh, as a problem because when you're running with I mean well your party has to be fairly skilled to a certain point um, if they know and they're familiar with the game then you know what I mean you're not the kills are gonna go around a bit more it's not gonna be uh, so lopsided most of the time although you might get a couple players and this right here is just complete malarkey this guy in the RC car just there's no fucking escape in this car guys without flat jacket I must say you're done now the two deaths that I have in this game um, are mm, I really couldn't prevent. Capping B without flak jacket is not the smartest thing to do, but someone had to do it, so I thought I should. And uh, sorry, I almost sneezed there. <coughs> Excuse me, but um. Uh, also, the other death, the RC car without flak jacket. Normally, I, uh, I don't really run flak jacket on this map because there's not a whole lot of nade spots. But, like I said there, um, look at these guys. This this line of sight's got me how many kills this game. And my FM foul is just perfect for this line of sight. Like it's So would an M16, like I was saying earlier, but you don't run too much of a problem. You can see I get this guy out there and this guy just gets turned on because I watch my radar because if you guys are unaware I'm a complete radar player. It's just the way I play. I just woke up so it's uh... I was having a nap so... That's why I'm a bit stuffed up. It usually happens when I first wake up in the morning. Either that or I have a hard time getting up. But this game plays almost over, and uh, this right here is a really good video if you want to tell your friends how to play a raid properly. This goes for team deathmatch as well, but more just domination. And right here, like I said, uh, you can see me getting more anxious as we have dogs and chopper gunner and the blackbird just died out. Um, with all that, I kind of ran into the spawn a bit. Maybe I should have stayed back to my line of sight that I chose for this game. <laughs> But anyways, guys, if you guys can please take some time to thumbs up this video as I go 29-2 with three caps and one defend. Peace, guys.